The Serbian national football team represents the Republic of Serbia in association football and is controlled by the Football Association of Serbia, the governing body for football in Serbia and a FIFA and UEFA member. Serbia's home ground is the Red Star Stadium in Belgrade. Both FIFA and UEFA consider the Serbian national team to be the direct and sole successor of the Yugoslavia and Serbia and Montenegro. History The first national team was in the kingdom that existed between the two world wars. The football federation of what was then the kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slavans was founded in Zagreb in 1919 under the name Yugoslavanski Nogontni Savis and the national team played its first international game at the Summer Olympics in Antwerp in 1920. The opponent was Czechoslovakia, and the historic starting eleven that represented Kingdom of SCS on its debut were, Dragutin Duka, Viko Slav Angstrom one half up Hana Ia, Trislav Angstrom Ifa, Stanko Tabernar, Slavin Sindria, Rudolf Rupek, Dragutin Vragovia, Arta Dubrava Ia, Emil Pirakar, Ivan Granik, and Jovan Ruiz three quarters ik. They lost by a huge margin 0 to 7, but nonetheless got their names in the history books. 1930 World Cup. In 1929, the country was renamed to Yugoslavia and the Football Association became Futbalski Savis Jugoslavij and moved its headquarters to Belgrade. The national team participated at the 1930 FIFA World Cup, finishing in third place. In its first ever World Cup match in Montevideo's Park Central, Yugoslavia managed a famous 2 1 win versus Mighty Brazil, with the following starting 11 representing the country Milovan Jarka Ia, Branislav Sekulia, Alexander Ternania, Miluta Nivkovia, Ivica Beck, Moma Ilo Okaya, Blagoj Marjanovia, Milorad Arsenijavia, Anore Vujadinovia, Dragoslav Mihailovia, and Ljubia Estefanovia. The national team consisted of players based in Serbian football clubs, while the Zagreb sub-association forbade players from Croatian clubs to play in the World Cup due to the relocation of football association's headquarters from Zagreb to Belgrade. Silver medal at 1948 Summer Olympics, Yugoslavia were runner-ups at the 1948 Summer Olympics in football. Silver medal at 1952 Summer Olympics, Having a team with many players from the 1948 generation, Yugoslavia was a formidable side at the 1952 Summer Olympics and finished as runner-ups behind the legendary Hungary national football team. Against the USSR, Yugoslavia was 5 a Euro 1 up with 15 minutes of their first round match to go. The Yugoslavs, understandably, put their feet up. Arthur Ellis, the match referee, recorded what happened next in his book, the final whistle, the USSR forced the most honorable draw ever recorded. Savulod Bobrov, their captain, scored a magnificent hat-trick. After the USSR had reduced the lead to 5 a Euro 2, he, almost single-handed, took the score to 5 a Euro 5, scoring his third in the last minute. For once, use of the word sensational was justified. Although Bobrov's early goal and their replay presaged a miraculous recovery, Yugoslavia recovered sufficiently to put out their opponents easily in the second half. The Soviet side had been expected by Moscow to win the 1952 games, and their defeat by Yugoslavia was not mentioned in the Soviet press until after Joseph Stalin's death the following year. Later decades, the federation and football overall was disrupted by World War II. After the war, a socialist federation was formed and the Football Federation reconstituted. It was one of the founding members of the UEFA and it organized the 1976 European Championship played in Belgrade and Zagreb. The national team participated in eight World Cups, four Euros, and won the Olympic football tournament in 1960 at the Summer Games. Dragon Dar three-quarters Asia holds the record for the most national team caps at 85, between 1964 to 1979. The best scorer is Japan Bobek with 38 goals, between 1946 and 1956. Dissolution and UN embargo, with the end of the Cold War, democratic principles were introduced to the country which brought about the end of communist rule. In the subsequent atmosphere, national tensions were heightened. At the Yugoslavia-Netherlands friendly in preparation for the 1990 World Cup, 
the Croatian crowd in Zagreb jeered the Yugoslav team and anthem and waved Dutch flags. With the dissolution of Yugoslavia, the team split up and the remaining team of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia was banned from competing at Euro 92. The decision was made on May 31, 1992, just ten days before the competition commenced. They had finished top of their qualifying group, but were unable to play in the competition due to United Nations Security Council Resolution 757. Their place was taken by Denmark, who went on to win the competition. Yugoslavia had also been drawn as the top seed in Group 5 of the European Zone in the qualifying tournament for the 1994 World Cup. Fry was barred from competing, rendering the group unusually weak. Breakup After the breakup of Yugoslavia, the Fry consisted of Montenegro and Serbia. The national team of Serbia and Montenegro continued under the name Yugoslavia until 2003, when country and team were renamed Serbia and Montenegro. Post-1991, Slobodan Santrala era, see also, 1998 FIFA World Cup Group F, 1998 FIFA World Cup Knockout Stage, although the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia was formed on April 28, 1992, its teams were banned from all international sporting events, including the national football team. Consequently, the national team did not play its first game as a new country before December 23, 1992. A friendly match played in Porto Alegre and in which Brazil won by the mark of 2 Euro 0. This was the first ever team composed of Serbian and Montenegrin players exclusively, while Slobodan Santrala, a former Yugoslavia national team player, was named the team's first ever manager. The next game was played only three days later, this time in Buenos Aires, resulting in 1 Euro 0 loss to Argentina. Despite two losses in two games, the team was honored to play its first two games ever against such football powerhouses. Also due to the United Nations international sanctions, the team could not take part in the 1994 FIFA World Cup qualification, nor the UEFA Euro 1996 qualifying process. On March 31, 1995, the team recorded its first official win in history, a 1 Euro 0 friendly against Uruguay simultaneously marking the team's first ever home game, played at Stadion CRVNA's Vista in Belgrade, and the first ever goal scored, courtesy of Sevo Milo Evaya. Slightly more than one year later, the team recorded its first ever win in a FIFA World Cup qualifying tournament in its first game in such a tournament, a 3 Euro 1 win over the Faroe Islands. Shortly after, the team also recorded its biggest win in history, once again against the Faroe Islands, 8 a Euro 1. Yugoslavia finished second in Group 6, just behind Spain, meaning it had to go through the playoff system in order to qualify. Yugoslavia was paired up with Hungary, and what was believed would be a tough matchup turned out to be an easy win for Yugoslavia, 7 a Euro 1 in Budapest and 5 a Euro 0 in Belgrade, for an aggregate score of 12 a Euro 1. This was enough to secure Yugoslavia its first ever FIFA World Cup appearance as a new country. The 1998 FIFA World Cup seeding had Yugoslavia ranked in 21st position, but the Yugoslav national football team went to France as one of the shadow favorites for the World Cup. The New York Times stated that Yugoslavia could easily be a semi-finalist in that year's World Cup. The justification for such an estimation was partially found in the names of the Yugoslav players, members of great European teams and proven footballers. The draw put the team in Group F alongside Germany, the United States, and Iran. Yugoslavia won its first game 1 a Euro 0 against Iran thanks to a goal from defender Sinja Mihailovia. The next game was a loss for Yugoslavia. After leading Germany to a Euro 0, last game's hero, Mihailovic scored an unlucky own goal following a German free kick, and Oliver Bayerov equalized at 2 a Euro 2 with only about 10 minutes to the match. Nonetheless, Yugoslavia responded in the next game against the United States and won 1 a Euro 0 due to an early goal in Nantes. Yugoslavia made easy work of Group 6, but despite an excellent record, the game against Germany would prove costly as Germany won the group thanks to a better goal difference. Due to their second position, Yugoslavia saw itself face the Netherlands in the round of 16. 
Yugoslavia entered in the match with a sole attacker, but its defensive tactics proved unsuccessful as Dennis Bergkamp put the Netherlands in front in the 38th minute. Immediately following the start of the second half, Yugoslavia pressured the Dutch, who inevitably conceded a header from Slobodan Komlodinovia. However, the turning point of this match was a penalty awarded to Yugoslavia after Vladimir Jugovia was fouled in the penalty area. Pradrag Mijatovia's shot dazzled Edwin van der Zaar, but not the crossbar, and the scoreline remained the same at 1 Euro 1. Such an event demoralized the Yugoslavs, as the Dutch took the initiative. In the late seconds of the game, as everybody was preparing for extra time, Edgar Davids shot towards the Yugoslav net from a distance of 20 metres and beat goalkeeper Ivica Kralj, to the pure disbelief of the Yugoslav players and fans. This marked the end of Yugoslavia's run in the 1998 FIFA World Cup, since there was not much time left to do anything. Unlucky events forced Yugoslavia out of the tournament, but the team definitely demonstrated its great ability and proved it had a spot among the world's best teams. This was also reflected in the FIFA World Rankings following the 1998 FIFA World Cup, in which Yugoslavia was constantly ranked in the top 10 for a long period of time. Euro 2000, see also, UEFA Euro 2000 Group C, UEFA Euro 2000 Knockout Stage, the draw for the Euro 2000 qualifiers saw many eyebrows raised as first seeded Yugoslavia was drawn in a group with Croatia, thus marking the first games between the two teams after the breakup of Yugoslavia. The other teams in the group were the Republic of Ireland, Macedonia, and Malta. When the qualifiers began, the coach was Milan Angstrom one half of Edenovia, but in July 1999 he resigned and was replaced by Vujadin Boakov. The team started with a 1-0 win over Ireland in Belgrade, before beating Malta 3-0 in Tarkali. The home fixture against the Maltese followed, but was moved to Thessaloniki, Greece due to the NATO bombing of Yugoslavia. The team nonetheless won for a Euro 1. The first, highly anticipated match against Croatia took place in Belgrade shortly after the bombing ended, and was interrupted due to a power outage at the beginning of the second half, resuming after 43 minutes and eventually finishing 0 a Euro 0. A 2 a Euro 1 defeat against Ireland in Dublin was followed by victories home and away against Macedonia, meaning that Yugoslavia needed to win its final qualifier against Croatia in Zagreb, or to draw with Ireland failing to beat Macedonia in Scorpia, in order to qualify automatically for Euro 2000. In the event, Ireland conceded an injury time equaliser, meaning that Yugoslavia's 2 a Euro 2 draw with the Croatians was good enough. The draw for the finals placed Yugoslavia in Group C along with Spain, Norway and another former Yugoslav Republic, Slovenia. The Slovenians took a surprise 3 a Euro 0 lead in the first game at the Stade du Pays de Charleroi, but three goals in six second half minutes enabled Yugoslavia to secure a 3 a Euro 3 draw. The team then beat Norway 1 a Euro 0 in Lea GE, thanks to an early Sevo Milo Eva back heel strike. The final group game, against Spain in Bruges, saw the Yugoslavs take the lead three times, before a Garaiz Comendiata penalty and an Alfonso Parr copyright res strike and injury time secured a dramatic 4 Euro 3 win for the Spaniards and top spot in the group. Yugoslavia nonetheless finished second, level on points with Norway but ranked ahead due to its victory in Lear GE. In each of the three games, the team had one player sent off. In the quarterfinals, Yugoslavia was once again paired with the Netherlands. Unlike the last time, the co-hosts made easy work of Yugoslavia, winning 6 a Euro 1 in Rotterdam with Patrick Kluivert scoring a hat-trick. One of the few bright spots of Yugoslav team in the whole tournament was Sevo Milo Evaya, who was crowned the joint top scorer of the tournament, alongside Patrick Kluivert. Both players scored five goals, although Milo Evic played one game fewer. Failure to qualify for 2002 World Cup the 2002 qualifiers marked the first time that Yugoslavia failed to reach a major tournament ever since its return to the big stage after the UN sanctions. The problem started with the major political turmoil in the country as well in the Yugoslav FA, which prompted the new coach Ilija Petkovia to resign only after one game. 
Milovan and Aurea took over the team, but under his leadership, the team managed only two draws and a 0 a Euro 1 home loss to Russia. After an Oryx resignation, a three-man commission, consisting of Dejan Savia Evaya, Vujadin Boakov, and Ivan Kirkovia, took over the coaching duties, until Sivachevic ultimately took over on his own. The team managed to bounce back with a draw in Russia and a win in Switzerland, but failed to defeat Slovenia in the penultimate game, thus ended the qualifiers in third position. Ilija Petkervialira, see also, 2006 FIFA World Cup Group C. After Sivachevic's disastrous spell as coach of Yugoslavia, the country went under a political transformation, and Ilija Petkervia became the newly named Serbia and Montenegro's new coach. Initially, the team under his lead experienced dragging failure in the Euro 2004 qualifiers while competing for the first time as Serbia and Montenegro. Despite drawing both games against group favourites and eventual group winners Italy and winning both games against runner-ups Wales, Serbia and Montenegro failed to qualify, mostly due to embarrassing to a Euro 2 home draw and to a Euro 1 away loss to Azerbaijan. However, qualifying for the 2006 FIFA World Cup was a different story. Serbia and Montenegro began their 2006 World Cup campaign by finishing first with an undefeated record in their qualification group ahead of favourite Spain. The Serbia and Montenegro team also allowed only one goal in the 10 matches, the best defensive record out all 51 teams participating in qualification. For the 2006 qualifiers, Serbia and Montenegro was drawn in a group with Spain, Belgium, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Lithuania and San Marino. Led once again by Ilija Petkervia as coach, Serbia and Montenegro played some impressive defensive football a Euro the famous four defence, consisting of Nemanja Vidya, Mladen Kstaja, Goran Gavrena Ia, and Ivica Dragutinovia, with Dragoslav Javria as goalkeeper, conceded only one goal in ten games, finishing first with a 6 a Euro 4 a Euro 0 record, ahead of Spain. On June 3, 2006, following a referendum, Montenegro declared its independence from Serbia. As the World Cup was about to start, it was decided that the Serbia and Montenegro team that had qualified for the tournament would compete, with the split into separate teams representing the new countries of Montenegro and Serbia to take place once the team was no longer in the tournament. In the 2006 FIFA World Cup group stage, Serbia and Montenegro lost their opening game to joint group favourite, the Netherlands. The final score was 1 a Euro 0 after Arjen Robbins scored the only goal of the game. They also lost their second game to Argentina 6 a Euro 0, Serbia and Montenegro's worst ever international result. With the team's two losses and with Netherlands and Argentina winning both their games, Serbia and Montenegro could no longer qualify for the knockout matches and was playing for pride alone in their final group game against Karti Idva. Despite having a 2 a Euro 0 lead for much of the first half, the Elephants managed to come back and win 3 a Euro 2, leaving Serbia and Montenegro with a disappointing 0 a Euro 0 a Euro 3 World Cup run. After the breakup of Serbia and Montenegro, after Montenegro declared independence, Serbia marked independence with a 3 a Euro 1 win over the Czech Republic. The Euro 2008 qualification process began not long after in 2007 and ended in disappointment for Serbia. A strong start in qualification was overshadowed by the final hurdle of matches where inconsistency took over the side dropping points against the likes of Finland, Belgium, Armenia and Kazakhstan. They eventually finished third, three points behind runners-up Portugal and Group A winners Poland. Serbia's first ever foreign coach Javier Clement was sacked after the failure. Serbia replaced Javier Clement with Miroslav Uka, who then left the position on August 19 of the following year without having played any official games, due to various disagreements with the Football Association of Serbia. Radomir Ansha period, see also, 2010 FIFA World Cup Group D, subsequent to Urkic's rapid departure, Radomir Ansha was appointed coach and success followed. Serbia's World Cup qualification campaign began in 2008. Their qualification group featured former World Cup winners and 2006 FIFA World Cup runners-up France, traditionally powerful Romania, as well as Austria, 
Lithuania and the Faroe Islands. Serbia played consistently during the qualifiers and this led to the team automatically qualifying for the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. They confirmed qualification with a commanding 5 Euro 0 win at home against Romania. Like in 2006, Serbia went into the 2010 FIFA World Cup as the dark horses of the tournament. Key points justifying their potential surprise team status included a star-studded defense that was composed by Nemanja Vidya, Nevan Subosha, Aleksandr Kolarov and Branislav Ivanovia. The captain of Serbia's 2010 World Cup campaign was stalwart Dejan Stankovia, who became the only player to feature in a World Cup having played under three different national names. In their first tournament as an independent nation, they were to face Ghana, Germany and Australia. Their opening group game was against Ghana and chances came to both sides but a red card to Alexander Lukervia and a handball by substitute Stravo Kosmanovia in the second half gave Ghana a penalty to take all three points at the death. Asamo Agyan converted eight minutes from full time and Serbia were defeated 1-0-0. In Serbia's second group match, they sensationally defeated Germany by a score of 1-0 with an acrobatic goal by Milan Jovanovia late in the first half. FIFA's official YouTube channel called the win the most famous day in Serbian football. Serbia only needed a single point to reach the knockout stages but were defeated by Australia 2-1 in an entertaining match where Serbia's dominance in the first half and in periods of the second half would have made it look like a Serbia victory. They unfortunately were their own worst enemy, their failure to convert their chances again proved costly with Australia scoring two goals in the second half through Tim Cahill and Brett Holman. A late Marco Pantelia goal served only as a consolation. They finished last in the group. Radomir Rancha was sacked two games into the Euro 2012 qualification process, a 1-Euro 1 draw at home to Slovenia spelling the end to his two-year stint. The sacking meant the bringing in of Vladimir Petrovia to the job. 2010 Euro 2012 Serbia once again failed to qualify for the European Championships, making it 12 years since the country last took part in the tournament. Serbia was drawn in qualification Group C featuring Italy, Slovenia, Estonia, Northern Ireland and the Faroe Islands. The qualifying stage began with Radomir Rancha as coach and finished with Vladimir Petrovia. Serbia and Antic started the first two games positively with a 3-0 win away to Faroe Islands and a 1-0-1 draw at home to Slovenia but this result brought the end of Antic's reign as the country's coach. New coach Vladimir Petrovia faced setbacks immediately with an embarrassing 3-0-1 loss at home to Estonia and an abandoned match resulting in a 3-0-0 loss to Italy due to crowd trouble from the Serbian away supporters in Genoa. Serbia returned to form with a 2 Euro 1 win at home over Northern Ireland but could only manage a 1 Euro 1 draw away to Estonia. Afterwards, Serbia won back to back games with a 1 Euro 0 win away to Northern Ireland and a crucial 3 Euro 1 win at home against Faroe Islands. These results put Serbia in pole position to confirm a playoff spot behind Italy. Serbia needed a win at home against Italy to confirm a playoff spot but their efforts only resulted in a 1-1 draw. The team, however, still had one more chance to confirm a playoff place when they faced Slovenia away. This game was a must win even though Serbia had a superior goal difference over Estonia, a draw was not good enough for progression. Serbia played positively and created a number of chances during the game but a long-range goal put Slovenia up 1-0 at half-time. The Serbians then failed to convert numerous chances that they had in the second half, notably Nemanja Vidya's penalty miss midway through the second half. Serbia left empty-handed after a 1-0 loss and exited the tournament for the third time in a row during the qualifying group stages, missing out by one point behind Estonia. Vladimir Petrovia was sacked after the team's failure to qualify. Rebuilding Dejan Stankovia and Nemanja Vidya announced that they are retiring from international football. This meant that Serbia had lost two key players and that a new era had started. Branislav Ivanovia became the new captain. Sinja Mihailovia, a former member of the national team, was appointed as the coach on April 24, 2012. 
he has made it a requirement for the players to know the words of the national anthem because he calls himself a right-wing nationalist. Serbia was drawn in Group A in qualification for 2014 FIFA World Cup, together with Croatia, Belgium, Scotland, Macedonia, and Wales. Mijalovic started with three straight defeats in friendly matches against Spain, France and Sweden. In his fourth game as coach, the team played a draw with Republic of Ireland. The team began the qualification campaign with a goalless draw with Scotland and a 6-1 win over Wales. In the next two games, Serbia suffered two defeats, from Macedonia and Belgium 2012 ended with a 3-1 victory in a friendly match against Chile. In 2013, Serbia's first game was a friendly match versus Cyprus. It ended 3-1 for Serbia. On March 22, Serbia played in Zagreb against Croatia. The game was highly anticipated in both countries due their rivalry both on and off the pitch. Croatia won 2-0 and sent Serbia down on the table. This way, Serbia's chances for qualification became very small. Serbia defeated Scotland 2-0 at home in a crucial qualifier. Though their World Cup hopes were taken away after a 2-1 defeat to Belgium, Serbia drew with Croatia 1-1 in the corresponding fixture at home in a spiteful affair. 18-year-old Aleksandar Mitravia scored an equaliser in the second half after Mario Manda three-quarters who opened the scoring. They then defeated Wales 3-0 in Cardiff. Dejan Stankovia farewell game was completed in a friendly against Japan which Serbia won 2-0. He finished his career with 103 appearances for his national team, a record for the Serbian national team which was previously held by Sevo Milo Evaja who had 102 appearances. Serbia finished qualifying with a 5-1 home win against Macedonia. They finished the group in third position, three points off a playoff spot behind Croatia and the group winners Belgium. Due to a strong finish in qualifying Serbia moved up from 43rd in the world to 28th, their highest position in the rankings under Sinja Mijilovija. Sinja Mijilovija resigned after the team's failure to qualify. Kit, kit providers. The official team kit is currently manufactured by American company Nike which has signed a multi-year, multi-million euro deal to wear Nike from August 16, 2006 against Czech Republic. Nike has been Serbia's kit supplier since its independence in 2006. Kit History, Yugoslavia, FR Yugoslavia slash Serbia and Montenegro, Serbia, competitive record. The Serbian Football Association is deemed the direct successor to both SFR Yugoslavia and Serbia and Montenegro by FIFA, and therefore the inheritor to all the records of the defunct nations. Recent results and forthcoming fixtures. 2014, 2015, Head Coaches, Last Update June 6, 2014, for the period before 1992 C, Yugoslavia National Football Team Head Coaches, Current Coaching Staff, Squad, current squad, squad called up for the friendly against Jamaica on May 26, 2014, Panama on May 31, 2014 and Brazil on June 6, 2014, caps and goals updated as of June 6, 2014 after the game against Brazil. Recent call-ups, the following players have been called up for the team in the last 12 months. Previous squads, player statistics. Statistics include players who have played for the SFR Yugoslavia national team and Serbia national team. Players in bold are still active available for selection. Captains, home stadiums, since the dissolution of SFR Yugoslavia national team has played the vast majority of its matches on the Red Star Stadium in Belgrade and, occasionally, on Partizan Stadium, also in Belgrade. As of autumn 2012. Only five of 58 teams' home games since 1992 have been played outside of the capital Belgrade. However, with several ongoing reconstructions of stadiums in other cities in Serbia, it is likely that the national team will use more stadiums outside of the capital city in the future. List of stadiums which have hosted Serbia international football matches, source HTTP representation RS, team image, nickname. Former. Ever since the first game played by FR Yugoslavia on December 23, 1994 the team had the nickname of Plavi, literally the Blues. This was notably due to the fact the team wore blue jerseys, 
which they inherited from the former Yugoslavia national football team. The trend continued even when the team switched names to Serbia and Montenegro, as flags, anthem, and kits remained virtually the same. However, as Montenegro declared independence from the State Union on June 3, 2006, on the basis of a referendum held on May 21, 2006, the newly formed Serbia national team needed a new nickname, as red replaced blue as the team's primary color. Current, as of August 16, 2006, when Serbia played its first international match as a resurrected national team, the team is called the THN Euro TH TH 3 quarters TH squared TH. The name is referring to the white double-headed eagle found on the coat of arms of Serbia, a national symbol of Serbia and Serbs. Gallery. Honours, FIFA World Cup, 4th place, 1930-1962, UEFA European Championship, runners-up, 1960-1968, Summer Olympics, 01. Gold medal, 1960, 02. Silver medal, 1948. 1952, 1956, 03. Bronze medal, 1984, Mediterranean Games, winners, 1971, 1979, see also, Serbia Euro International Balance at Serbia National Football Team, Serbia National Football Team Results, Serbia National Under-21 Football Team, Serbia National Under-19 Football Team, Serbia National Under-17 Football Team, List of Serbia international footballers, references. External links, official, Football Association of Serbia Euro official site, Serbian national football team, UEFA team profile, FIFA team profile, unofficial, Belialovi, Serbian football at extratime.org, Belialovi RS a Euro fan site.